Greetings to you all. My name is Benjamin Forens, and I'm speaking to you from Delray Beach, Florida. I want to apologize to Klaus Rackwitz, uh, the director of the International Nuremberg Principals Academy, for inviting me to come to the meeting personally. Uh, I regret that uh, I am trying to save some strength for my old age, and I'm only in my hundredth year now. But let me say a few words as a tribute to my friend Tom Bergenthal. I've known him since the days of his early years, his days as a teacher, as a judge at the International Court of Justice, and uh, he has been a model for me as well as for many others. So thank you and all good wishes to you, Tom, and to Peggy, your wife. I'm sorry that I can't be with you today in person. The essence of what we are all trying to do is to eliminate war making. War has been glorified for centuries, and we cannot expect to reverse that in the course of only one or two human lives. But we are making enormous progress. We do have an international criminal court now to deter people from crimes against humanity and other illegal acts. Even though it's not generally accepted, people like John Bolton, who is now the principal advisor to the President of the United States, who believes there is no such thing as international law and the International Criminal Court doesn't exist. It is already destroyed as he would like it to be. Uh, I don't share that point of view. I believe that we are making progress, although their difficulties are still enormous. It's a prototype court and it will improve with the years. To sum it all up, I think we must remember never to be discouraged. That's very important because it takes courage not to be discouraged. It takes a new awareness of the need for compromise, a need for compassion, a need to assure the others that we are not going to kill them if they practice their religion or they adhere to their national loyalties or that they want to live a normal human life in which they can be employed and feed their families. We have to recognize these as new principles which govern all of us. If we do, we can move faster toward a more humane world. And so I wish you all the very best of luck. I hope to be able to continue to do this for many more years to come. I'm only in my hundredth year now, and I look forward to congratulating Tom Bergenthal when he reaches a hundred as well. Good luck, Tom. All the best to all of you.